Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today's episode is all about fossil fuels, things like coal, oil, and natural gas. We're going to show you how at home, by using olives and a few basic things around the kitchen, how you can simulate both the creation and consumption of fossil fuels. And what's going to happen if we keep using fossil fuels the way we do now? That's right. So stick around, it might get a little messy. Would you like an olive? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> or for me. Fossil fuels are formed when mostly organic matter, like plants and animals, die and build up in the Earth's crust for over hundreds of millions of years. We use fossil fuels for heating and cooling our homes, creating the gas to put in our cars and trucks to keep our highways and byways going. Who says byways these days? Generating the electricity for all the things around us. Fossil fuels are also used for making plastics, computers, and medical equipment. The problem is, fossil fuels can be pretty damaging to our environment. And the big problem is, as our demand increases, our supply decreases. And we're going to demonstrate that today with our little experiment here. Grab you some olives and let's get going. The materials you're going to need are some pitted olives, a hand blender, a mixing bowl, and some cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. I had never heard of it until my wife told me to go get some. You can normally find it in your baking goods section of your local grocery store. Cheesecloth. Now you know. To simulate the process where the organic material like plankton and die and go to the bottom of the ocean, we're going to use the olives to represent the plankton and we're going to use the hand blender to crush them up. Now that we have our dead microscopic plankton, to represent the heating up over hundreds of millions of years, we're going to put it on the oven. Five minutes over a medium setting is about all you need. Step two replicated the heat from the earth. Step three is going to replicate the pressure. So to do that, take your warmed olive mix and place it on top of the cheesecloth. Before you get to applying the pressure on this, you just want to be sure that it is cooled off completely because you're going to get your hands dirty. Now that we have our material in the cheesecloth, we're going to put it into a bowl and apply some pressure. You just wrap it up entirely, just like that. Alright, now we have our fossil fuels. So to summarize, our olive, which was representing the organic matter like plankton, died and went to the bottom of the sea, and that was replicated by our blending process. The hundreds of millions of years where it decomposes and heats up by the earth is represented by our cooking and our pressure process with the cheesecloth, and again, now we have our finished product. Let it cool, let it settle, and after that you'll see that at the top you'll have the oil, which is a perfect representation of how fossil fuels are actually made. Alright, the first part of the video illustrates how fossil fuels are created. 
The second part of the video is going to show how we're eventually going to run out if we keep using them in the manner we're using them now. To illustrate this point, I'll have the kids put a drop of oil into a balloon, and they'll do this for as many balloons as possible. You actually don't have to have them do this part, but the longer it takes them to do it, the more time I have for myself. Hey kids, are y'all done? No! That's right. All right, now we're outside, bunch of noise, bunch of construction going on, sorry about that. But we have our fossil fuel scattered throughout the yard. What the kids are going to do is go out and get as much as they can. They have five seconds to bring back as many fossil fuels. And each time they do it, it's going to be a round. And we're going to do as many rounds as it takes until we run out. You ready? Ready. Ready? All right. On your mark, get set, go. Five. Bring them on back. Go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, bring them on back. Bring them on back. Go. Five. How many do you have? Zero. So what happened each time we went out to get fossil fuels? Every time we went out, it got less and less as we got more and more. So Tosh, what happened at the end? Uh, no more balloons. No more balloons, yeah. We ran out. So not only are fossil fuels a finite supply, getting them damages our grass, aka our planet. It pollutes our waters, it pollutes our ozone and ultimately they're going to run out. So we all have to do our part to decrease our use of fossil fuels. All right, so that's our lesson this week on fossil fuels. We showed you how to simulate their creation in your home. We showed you how to simulate how we're eventually just going to run out. So keep in mind that we all have to do our part to cut down. I'm going to put a link in the description up above, maybe a website right there if I can figure out how to make that work. Let's just all do our part. I think it was Dr. Seuss who said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. We'll see you next week.